Alright, and welcome to another quality tutorial for Icarus. Um, today we're going to be taking a very short look at the uh, way we've reworked representations. So um, we, I've just set up a small example blueprint, in this uh, case a character, and now I'll show you what the new system beholds. So uh, previously you just had a normal, uh, like you could add different parts for attributes. Now this is all replaced with text that is then being parsed by Icarus. Uh, this allows us to be a lot more flexible and also include a lot more uh, awesome features in the future that we'll probably get to soon. So right now you see we have an empty representation. Um, I have two characters set up and um, one already links to the other. The character has a name which is a text, two H attributes, one's a number and a range. The reason they have the same name will become evident shortly and a father which is just a reference to another character. So if we just type in normal text as usually this will be normally <coughs> replaced but we can now uh, create so-called operations and you start an operation with um, square brackets and in that operation for now at least uh, the only thing you can do is reference attributes. So the easiest thing to do is we could type the name attribute and it would fulfill in the name. This is case insensitive, so it doesn't matter. Um, if we type in age, it will select the first age. However, if we want to select the second age, we can use the so-called colon notation, colon notation um, where we can say that we want the first, which is at index zero, or we want the second, which is at index one. Um, and now the cool feature, which wasn't uh, available previously, is what I'll demonstrate now. So let's say we have this and we want to to say that he is the son of well his father's name and now this will say uh, Peter son of Peter because I dropped the wrong instant here but now it's Peter son of Kent uh, or we could say we want the father's age for some reason uh, or the father's second age attribute however you would like um, this can be nested indefinitely so you could say the father's father's age well currently there's Kent doesn't have one uh, we could give Kent something here and if we then create this and increase the age, you see it changes as well. Um, that's it for now. I hope this feature is evident. I want to uh, implement um, auto completion so that when you type a nay, it will already tell you, hey, by the way, you have an attribute called name. Maybe you want to select that. Uh, but that's something for the future. I hope you all really enjoy this re uh, new release and I'm stoked for the next one. Bye bye.